first thing I'm going to tell you about is we completely rebuilt this uh, server rack. It's for the streaming setup and the sampling setup. And the reason is that it was quite full uh, in our older rack, which was quite garbage actually, but it worked for a while. But now we have more gear and more sensitive gear. So we filtered all the uh, electricity or the power and we added a clock for the Grace preamp for our microphones. Um, we use Dante for uh, recording all the samples and it works absolutely fabulous. But Dante clocks are not as precise as I would like. So we externally clock the Grace with a Mutec MC3+. Plus. And the Mutec already proved itself in our own setup. It's amazing. It's a, it's a wonder box in our opinion. So adding this made the samples even better and the live streams eventually also even better. So that's the first. Uh, it's not as exciting for you as the other news, but we'll get to that in a, in a minute. Because we're also going to experiment with some uh, professional switches for Dante. And let me grab it. That's this one from Netgear. It's completely new. Uh, they uh, asked us if we would like to try it and uh, this switch is specifically made for Dante and AV uh, over IP services. It's, it's nothing magical. They grabbed an existing model and uh, uh, altered firmware uh, optimized it for Dante and AV over IP. And yes, we can duplicate it and we can mimic it, but it will take a huge amount of time and for us it's maybe even more interesting just to buy this and say you know what we make a dedicated switch for dante we already do that's this one uh, it's also from netgear by the way but um it was hard we we really tried some stuff and cheap cheap switches don't work as well as more powerful professional switches and this one is absolutely not cheap it's quite an expensive switch actually it's 10 gigabits, it's very stable, it's very powerful, so we don't get drops or hiccups or latency issues. And uh, this will maybe even better. So let's get to the other news. So we can actually measure now. And you know that the, the people that follow Alpha Audio for a while now know that we always want to prove stuff. Uh, I mean, you can listen and you can hear a difference, but I think it's really, really important to understand why gear actually sounds different and uh, a good measurement doesn't mean the device sounds good but a very bad measuring device can in my opinion not sound so great so that's why we bought the prism d scope 3 and uh, a scope from regal and this one goes to 50 megahertz, but we can update it with firmware so it can go to 100 megahertz. And I think that's important if you want to measure high frequency noise in, for example, class D amplifiers. Or in our, in our case, we uh, do a lot with networking and that is way up in the megahertz range. <laughs> so <laughs> you need probably a scope that can even go to 200 megahertz. But we'll do this for now because it was quite an investment, to be honest. Uh, so we bought the D-Scope Series 3 and that's one of the big competitors from Audio Precision. And we looked online, but Audio Precision, yeah, it's either you get a really old one with bad software or you get a new one and you have to really, really heavily invest in, uh, in gear. And we think this will do even better in our case because we know some people that have a prism d-scope that can help us out with uh, profiles and interpreting the measurements and setting it up because it, it is quite hard and if you measure you have to measure it well and you have to know what you are looking at uh, that's even more important than doing measurements because a bad measurement is worse than no measurement at all but we played with it for a while now and it's uh, Wow, it's great stuff. I'm, I'm happy as a kid, as we say in Dutch. So we did some sample measurements uh, for, with the Grim UC1 in this case. And you can see the uh, linearity plots. We did some J tests for jitter. Uh, we did some um, uh, signal noise ratio tests. We did some channel separation tests. And yeah, it works out really well. So um, 
you can expect more from this. Uh, we will try to measure all the devices we get, but it's not always possible because we have some editors in, in Belgium, for example, and in, uh, in the other side of the country. So either we have to ask the suppliers to deliver everything here and then we send it to the authors or uh, we choose to measure the devices that we get here in house and that's most of the devices honestly um, that way not all devices get measured but most of them we will try to make a database of it so you can look back uh, on the performance of the devices we test from now on because we don't have the we're, we're not going to measure the devices we already did because that's that makes no sense um, but we'll try to do as many as possible but we just wanted to give you an update we can do measurements now with the prism d scope 3 and the right software and we get help from our uh, friends in the industry to set it up correctly and to know what we're actually doing so we were really excited so we wanted to show this news it's a short video but i hope you like it anyway and uh, hope to see you soon bye bye